before the gate of heaven, I was stunned to see that the majority of the saints that were on the queue were not admitted in the kingdom of God, for they were disqualified, they were called the disqualified of heaven, brother you are being attracted and attached to the world but really do you want to be called a disqualifier of heaven when you stand that day before the gate of the eternal kingdom? This woman that I saw before the pearly gate was disqualified from heaven after serving the Lord, simply because she gave up decent dressing to please her husband, who asked her to dress modern and to be in fashion and attractive, and the Lord told her, My daughter, you have lost your soul, because you prefer to listen to your husband who wanted you to be attractive, and you rejected my word. After this lady was disqualified, I saw another Christian lady approaching the gate of heaven in order to enter, she was dressed in white garment, but when she approached the angel's guardian of the gate of heaven, I saw her white garment disappearing and turning to an African robe, just a normal African dress, just like we see honorable lady in the world dressed in a presentable way before people, she was just well dressed and her garment was not indecent but I could not understand how this lady lost her white garment just like that and ended up with her African clothes, as the lady stopped and stood before the ancient gate of heaven, when I look I saw that the eternal gate of heaven remained closed and she could not enter, what I learned in this place is that the saint were entering the kingdom of heaven only when they are singing heavenly song, it is written in Psalm 100 verse 4 enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and enter his courts with praise, be thankful unto him, and bless his name, but the gate remained closed for this lady who lost her white garment, every sin that men entertain and fail to renounce will manifest before the gate of heaven for judgment and condemnation, the Lord made me understand that this lady lost her white garment and could not enter the gate of the heavenly world, simply because on earth she had divorced in the past, then she went on to get married to another man, where they made a family and had children. The lady was disqualified because of remarriage, the lady was a born again Christian that serve in the church. But the gate of heaven was shut for her because of this issue of remarriage, the Lord said any man or woman that had divorced and remarried have no access in my kingdom, Romans 7 verse 1. Do you not know, brothers and sisters, for I am speaking to those who know the law, that the law has authority over someone only as long as that person live? For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth, but if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of her husband. So then if, while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress, but if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man, brethren, maybe you have done what this lady has done. Maybe you have divorced because of carnal and human justification, maybe you have divorced your wife because she is a witch, and you dream that she come in the night to strangle you, you must understand that the Bible never authorized divorce because of reason and justification that are human, this lady had a human reason and justification to separate from his husband, but the Bible never sanctioned divorce because of misunderstanding that she used to have with her husband, maybe you have a rebellious wife maybe she is a witch, maybe she is not submissive or maybe you don't get along, these are not biblical justification for divorce and remarriage, this lady thought because there is no understanding between her and her husband it was enough for her to break the marriage, and start new life with another man, forgetting that a woman is bound to her husband as long as the husband is alive, moreover, this Christian woman who was serving God in the church was also preaching in the church, I want to tell you woman of God you can evangelize, you can win souls in the world, there are department in the church where women can serve God, 1 Timothy 2 verse 12 but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. I want to warn lady to be careful with the carnal interpretation of this passage because what matter is the eternity of your soul, the most precious thing that you must preserve is your soul, your soul is more valuable than all these theological interpretation telling you that you can preach even if you are a woman, remember that your soul is more valuable than all, maybe you want to find out the truth after death, but remember that when you discover the truth beyond the grave you won't have the opportunity to repent, this born again lady was overwhelmed be disqualified from heaven and she fell to the ground in tears and said Lord remember me, 
I serve you faithfully and I always kept your word, I was faithful to my husband and I was a submitted wife, the Lord replied to her, my daughter you went off the way the adulteress will not enter my kingdom, the woman was crying for all the sacrifices that she did all her life in the church, I saw that the images of the souls of her previous and current husband were appearing as she was facing judgment, as if she had married twice, the Lord said, I made marriage for a man and one woman. The lady was crying and said, I have run the race in vain, all these sacrifices that I had made for God, woe to me, I have lost the crown of life and my soul, it was over for this woman who was disqualified, brethren I was overwhelmed, I felt pain for the woman who was also regretting all the sacrifices she had done all her life for God, beloved if we reject the word of God in order to apply our own opinion and human interpretation, we will be cast to the outer darkness and it will be too late.